children. Now we are going to learn about mixed fraction. So how all of you know what is an improper fraction and a proper fraction means. So what do you mean by mixed fraction? I will give you an example. 7, 1 by 3. This is in the form of a mixed fraction. As you all know, 7 is a whole number. So this mixed fraction is having two parts. One is a whole number part. A whole number part. And this is in the form of a fraction, is it? This is a proper fraction. So the second part is proper fraction. So a mixed fraction means it is having a whole number part and a proper fraction part. A mixed fraction consists of two parts. What are they? A whole number part and a proper fraction part. Clear? 3, 8 by 11. 4, 3 by 5. 5, 1 by 9. So, etc. are the examples of mixed fraction. So, if you see this question. 3, 8 by 11. 3 is a whole number part, 8 by 11 is a proper fraction. 4 is a whole number part here and 3 by 5 is a proper fraction. And 5 is a whole number part and 1 by 9 is proper fraction. Hope all of you understood how to write a mixed fraction. Is it? So you, all of you can give an example for... So hope all of you can give an example for mixed fraction. Is it? Now, we can convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. And also, an improper fraction can be converted into mixed fraction. That we will learn now. Okay? Now, let us see how to convert 11 by 5 into mixed fraction. As you all know, 11 by 5 is in the form of improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So what you have to do here, you have to divide 11 by 5. Okay, it is the question is 11 by 5. So you have to divide 11 with 5. So when you divide, you will be getting 2 5 star 10. And when you minus it, you will be getting 1. So here the quotient you are getting is 2 and the reminder you are getting is 1. So how can we write in this in the form of a mixed fraction that there is a, a trick for remembering it easily. That is Q R D. What is Q? Q is the quotient. So first let us write the quotient as a whole number part. So here, Q is a quotient which you have written as a whole number part. 2. Okay. Then this QRD, I have written it in the form of a mixed fraction. So Q is the quotient that is 2, I have written as a whole number part. Then R, R is the reminder. So here, what is the reminder here? 1. That have to be written as a numerator of proper fraction. And then what should be written as the denominator? The divisor. That is 5. 5 have to write as the denominator of the proper fraction. So how we converted 11 by 5 into mixed fraction? That is 2, 1 by 5. Here 2 is a whole number part and 1 by 5 is proper fraction part. Understood? Yes. Now let us do another question. Let us convert 25 by 3 okay, into mixed fraction. So what you have to do? We have to first divide 25 by 3. 
Okay? How to divide? What will be the quotient? A, 3 is are 24. And you have to subtract. You will be getting 1 as the reminder. So here, what you have got? Q is 8 and the reminder is 1. Okay? So again, we have to write it in the form of QRD. What is Q here? 8 is quotient. And R reminder is 1. And what is the divisor? That is 3. So when you convert this 25 by 3 to mixed fraction, you will be getting it as 8, 1 by 3. Clear? So when you have an improper fraction, you can convert this into mixed fraction form. Okay, divide, divide the numerator with the denominator. So you will be getting a caution and a reminder like 8 and 1. So then you have to write it in the form of QRD. Where Q is the caution, R is the reminder and D is the divisor. Okay. And Q will be coming as the whole number part and R by D coming as the proper fraction part. Hope all of you understood how to convert improper fraction into mixed fraction. And I said we can convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So that we will learn now. Okay. Now let us convert this mixed fraction that is 3 1 by 7. It is in the mixed fraction form. We will be converting this mixed fraction 3 1 by 7 into improper fraction. Okay. So for that, you, as you all know, this is Q, R, D. What you have to do first, you have to multiply this quotient with the divisor. Multiply the quotient with the divisor. Or we can say that the whole number part with the denominator of the fraction part. I'll be putting a bracket and I'll be writing 3 into 7. Understood? This is the whole number part and this is the denominator of the fraction part. So first multiply the whole number part with the denominator of the fraction part. Then close the bracket. Then add the remainder or the add the numerator with this. Okay? Understood? I'll repeat. First, you have to multiply the whole number part with the denominator. 3 into 7. Then what you have to do? Then add. Okay? Add the numerator with it. The numerator is 1. So, I have added 1 with it. And what will come as the denominator? Denominator will be the same device. That is... 7. Okay? So, when you solve this, you will be getting 7 threes are 21 plus 1 divided by 7. That is equal to 22 by 7. So, we have converted the whole mixed fraction into improper fraction. Let us check whether we have done it correctly. So, let us convert this Improper fraction into mixed fraction. Okay. 22 by 7. 7 threes are. 7 threes are 21. Right. Fact 22 minus 21. You will be getting 1. So Q R D 4. So quotient is 3. Reminder is 1. And the divisor is 7. 3, 1 by 7. So, our answer is correct. Hope you understood what you have to do. We will do one more question, okay? Okay. Now, I have written another question. 2, 5 by 8. It is in the mixed fraction 4. So, you have to convert it into improper fraction. So, what we have to do first, you have to multiply 2 with 8, okay? So, I will be putting in bracket 2 into 8. The whole number part and the denominator is multiplied. So, 2 into 8. Then, you have to give plus sign and add 
the numerator of the fraction. So plus 5. And write the denominator as it is. That is 8. Okay. So 2 into 8. That is 16. Plus 5 divided by 8. So 16 plus 5 is 21. 21 by 8. So this is the improper fraction form of 2, 5 by 8. Is it clear how to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction and improper fraction into mixed fraction? Hope everyone is clear with this. Thank you.